In this scenario, I would approach this by first letting the senior member of staff know about my deadline. If I was not given the chance to do this, I would then ask around in my team to see if anyone would be available to do this task for me. If no one was available and the senior member of staff still needed this task done, I would then do their task first and get the person from reception, otherwise someone would be waiting in reception for a very long time. I would then explain to my line manager about the situation and why I was unable to get their task done and meet the deadline and then get their task done as soon as possible. In this scenario, teamwork was used because in the workplace, you should always be able to lean on your colleagues for help. I would say prioritization also was used as it's always important to know what tasks you need to get done first and last. So when this guest came back, because he had to go to the airport in the evening to go back home, his bag was nowhere to be seen. We then took our roles within the reception team, we decided who was going to be dealing with the guest, who was going to be trying to contact the group organizer, who was going to arrange for any taxi to perhaps be taken to the airport, or a taxi to be taken to where this group had gone to bring the bags back. So we all took turns and, and decided what our roles would be. To dealing with this problem so we did have a very good time management in a, in a time of crisis we dealt with thing with everything very quickly we dealt very with everything straight away the guest was happy at the end unfortunately he did miss his flight we did have to pay a compensation of 850 pounds for a new flight and we also had to pay 300 pounds to get the bags back all the way from bristol however at the end of the day we did manage to get the guest happy. We managed to get him to a flight the next day. It did cost the business some money, but those are skills when you face these times, those are skills that you learn. We learned problem solving skills on that day, time management skills on that day. And we learned again, the importance of following procedures in the workplace. The first thing we do actually is um, let the customer know that we've listened. So it's really, really important. Um, the easiest way to do that is just to relay. So uh, customers, so hello, Mr. and Mrs. Customer. Okay, I understand that your bill's 25 pound higher and you'd set a data cap so it shouldn't be. Um, let me just look into that for you. Um, what's also important that we make sure that we're empathetic. So I'm sorry you feel like this. I'm, I'm sorry this has happened. Um, and then also set some direction. So let the customer know what's going to happen. Um, don't leave them in the dark. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, what I'm going to do is over the next two or three minutes, I'm just going to check into your account and see exactly what's wrong. Um, and then we can come up with a solution. Once we've done that, um, you've set the direction, you know the customer's going to be two or three minutes. If it's going to take longer than that, just make sure the customer's okay for time. And we don't want them, what, we don't want them on their lunch break to run late or anything like that um, and make sure everything's okay. Um, but then once we get to the scenario, once we've, we've resolved, uh, found the solution, um, we'll then relay that to, to the customer um, and then solve it. So whether that means educating the customer, making any adjustments, or anything in our power to, to get things resolved. 